sometimes it helps to take an opportunity to look back at the footage and review it and think to yourself, okay, if I'm stuck with something, I should probably review the footage if I'm in between episodes to see what I was missing. And as it turns out, there was one key element that I was not noticing. It was probably because of the fact that I was restricted because of time, because I was over 20 minutes in the video, or because of the fact that I was just impatient. Probably both. But in any event, greetings people of the world! Matthew back with you here in Novora Autism for the continuation of this blind let's play of Earthbound. And last time, we made our way to the town known as Saturn Valley home to a bunch of shrunken heads known as Mr. Saturn. These people helped us by giving us a password, where we used the password, but then, at the end of the previous episode, I didn't follow all the instructions. I was supposed to wait for three minutes for the password to take its effect. And now that off camera, I have done that, and I have waited for the three minute grace period to expire, I am now allowed to enter wherever this is. So, let's go inside. Alright, and we found a big factory. Oh, all of a sudden we're playing Fantasy Star 4 here. Did you bring some fly honey? It's Master Belch's favorite. Okay, you may pass through. Hey, be careful. Be sure you don't chop it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have the uh, fly honey. Yeah, there it is. Steven has it. Alright. Yeah, as long as we show the fly honey, I don't think we'll have any trouble whatsoever. I hope. Confront the foppy. Well, nice to meet you, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna hurt me pretty badly. Thankfully, you don't even get an attack off. <laughs> That's fine by me. Okay, ladder or door? Can we go down the ladder? We can go down the ladder, but I want to see what's behind the door first. Oh, bad choice. Four of them? Oh, wow. Well, we know what to do with Mel. I just hope that... No, not that. Um, I, I just hope that this actually works, because, yeah, we need to hit all those guys in the back. That's a good start. Keep it going, guys. Back to the dust of the earth with you. What? Oh, really? Well, thankfully, that's easily healed with heal, um, B, I think it is? Or, no, healing A. Healing A, healing a is what will get it done for me. Alright, so yeah, m um, Steven, you just go ahead and heal yourself. While the other two finish this guy off. He got over the cold. Yay, and we win. Yeah, that'll teach me a lesson, huh? Yeah, what's behind door number one? A whole bunch of zombies, that's what. But they did have this. It is a bomb. So hey, it wasn't a total loss. Ooh, now we got a lot of foppies. We got three of them this time around. Well, they're pr they seem pretty easy to defeat, so let's just pound the crap out of them. In fact, Steven can one-shot them. Steven can one-shot them, and I don't mind. -da -da. Ooh, 1300. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, moving down. Going down floors. <laughs> yeah, this almost feels like it's Fantasy Star 4. Okay, I'll get to you guys on the conveyor belt in a moment. Okay, another door over here, so let's see what's over this direction. Oh. And since you wanted a friend so badly, I'll go ahead and oblige you. With an automatic kill? And Dan gained another level, he's up to 24. Yeah, I'm still wondering if that is a glitch. Is Did the, did the programmers actually make it that way? That that could happen? Two trash cans this time. This time we have an IQ capsule. And also, we have a broken laser. Ooh, that sounds good to me. Alright, well, who would be best to give the IQ to? And what does it affect, anyway? 
Um, let's check our status. Who needs it the most? Well, I guess it's all relative based on their current experience levels, because Steve's at 29, Mal's at 24, Dane is also at 24. He has the highest IQ, though. And Steven has the lowest. So, why do you say we give this to... Um, let's move over. Why do you say we give this IQ capsule to Steven? His IQ goes up by one. And onward we go. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Alright, gotta go back up this way. Yeah, all pointing in the direction to go left. Hello there. Master Belch is the slimiest. However, I heard he's also sending some Gygus guy. That I cannot believe. What, well, you think he's your one true savior? And I just noticed these Mr. Sh these shrunken Mr. Saturn heads are ball and chained. Well, wow. so yeah, they don't mess around as far as slave labor around here. And Mal gained a level in that previous battle. Now to the next one. Well, these poppies are just coming out in droves. But I have to say, I am beating these guys very easily. Is it possible that I'm just, like, seriously overleveled or something? I guess... Well, you're the mostly bad fly. <laughs> Alright. Well, Mal, why don't we have you... Burn these fiends. And 76, so it was a good choice. Steven knocks it over. Alright. A good amount of damage. Oh, no! At least it wasn't mortal damage, but... Holy cow. One point. Wow. Um, Mal, you definitely need to use a croissant... Right now! Holy crap! Mel almost got taken out on the crit hit. Thankfully, she's still with us. Oh boy, that was too scary. One point! <laughs> One point! Okay. Well, I got these things for a reason. Um, does the protein drink give you, um, an enhance- more healing? Like, is it better than the croissant- well, so you're the ones who destroyed the zombies that I assigned to Threed? Uh-oh, did I just set off the alarm? I think I just did. You got the slimy little pile. Well, it's not under the ruling of a boss duel, so, um, let's just go normally and see what happens initially. Not too bad, but how much is he going to hit me for? Well, he was going to call for reinforcements, thankfully no one comes to support him. Alright, so now that we've established that, let's see what Freeze does to him. It's quite a good move, because it gets the win. Good call. I like that. So what were you guarding? You were guarding... I guess now the Pals are going to become enemies now. Okay, so we know what to do with these guys. Let's go ahead and fire them. Yeah, mostly bad flies, you're fired. Yeah, I know, kind of... Oh, what? You reduce my accuracy, great. Anyway, as I was saying... It's probably in bad taste to, um, use a reference from Donald Trump, but these days he's become just so farcical it's not even funny. If that's even worse. But whatever, I'm getting my Stephen Colbert on. Ah, uh, this is not good. A sticky mucus? Well, I don't know what your intent was, but thankfully it didn't go through. Um... Yeah, we'll just go focus on here. Mal, keep using Freeze B A. And Dan, try and hit that guy. And the bad fly gets swatted. And the pile gets defeated, too. And he leaves behind a present. Wow, I'm getting lots of bombs. I think they're trying to tell me something. 
Alright, so, as far as things are right now, that's three chests, or three trash cans in this case, but as it stands right now, I only have room for two, so... Let's go ahead and use a croissant for Dan. Just so that I have room for everything. We have a vital capsule. So that must increase my vitality. We have an HP sucker. Um, did I get something bad? And we have a calorie stick. Alright, so yeah, the vital capsule obviously is good for whoever has the lowest vitality. Let's see who has that number. 16 for Steven. It's just 7 for Mal. That's not going to do at all. And 9 for Dan. Well, we know who to give this to, don't we? Alright, so... Vital Capsule is going to go to Mal. Your vitality is up by 1. Now, what is this um, thing that I got? This HP Sucker. Help. HP Sucker. Items for Dan. Sucks up some HP from the target creature. The more an HP an enemy has, the more you get. Can be used many times. Ooh. Well then, let's... But wait a minute. Dan's... Um, uh, inventory is maxed out, so... Let's go ahead and give... Oops. Let's try that again. Let's give the... Let's give a calorie stick. Actually, you know what? Let's just use it. I'll eat it. I was like, it's maxed out, but it already was, actually. Alright. <laughs> My bad. Well, I, I had to drop some stuff. Can you blame me? Give HP Sucker to Dan. Is this something he can equip? Nope. Not there. Or there. Or there. Or there, okay. So, it can be used by Dan, but he, it can only be used as an item in battle. Got it. And in that last level, in that last battle, both Steve and, and Dan gained experience levels. Okay, gotta be careful here, because, uh, yeah, now that I pretty much have unleashed the hornet's nest, I need to be careful. <laughs> And these floppies are still very quick and easy to defeat. Everyone else, that's another story. And there's nothing in this room at all. Yeah. Thanks, trolls. Right, onward. Ooh, now we're starting to see slime on the floor. Alright. I know what to target first here because it's essentially an act of necessity. Yeah, because Mal's really been forced to use her, um, sigh a lot on these things. Alright, come on, freeze it. Okay, that's a good score. Ah, I hate this move. I really do. Because it, re it lowers your accuracy, and that's not good. I need to freeze you before things get really out of hand. And hopefully you die. You did. Now all we have to do is try and figure out how the heck are we gonna kill off this mostly bad fly with a lowered accuracy. Well, it worked. Or maybe crying doesn't lower my accuracy. Maybe you guys, if you know, you can probably oblige me with what it actually means. But holy cow, a crucial level gain for Mal. Um, was that one gonna attack me? Um... Yeah. Aren't you the fly honey delivery boy? What's the password? It doesn't mean I don't trust you, just say it. Say it now. Someone so quiet is either extremely shy or extremely dangerous. A suspicious fellow. Wow, thanks. Yeah, it's obviously it's, it's obvious that we can't um talk our way out of this one, so let's go ahead and just go all out on your ass. <laughs> Because, yeah, in a previous fight, you brought a fr out a friend, and he actually 
gave me a lot of problems. So let's hope that does not happen here. Let's just do away with you as swiftly as possible. Hopefully there are butterflies in this place. Because, yeah, I'm sure Mal could use some. Ooh, I got green. Alright, that worked out. Okay. Big scary door. What lies be beyond? Oh, more of this stuff. And is that who I think it is? Uh-oh. If that is indeed who I think it is, I'm worried I may have burned off my PP too soon because... Um... I really don't know, quite honestly, what recovers my MP. Yeah, I, th I think I'm worried I may have acted in a premature manner by be being so, f um, by just spending my PP like no one's business, because how was I supposed to know that that was going to be a boss duel, because, yeah, it looks like that guy's blocking the door, and until we can take some actions in order to get rid of him, we're not going to get much further, so... I think we're going to have to end the episode here. It's going to be a short one, but yeah, we're going to hang this one. We're going to cliffhang this one, and hopefully next time we're going to be able to successfully defeat this guy. I believe this is the Master Belch that everyone's been talking about, so hopefully we can put an end to his gaseous terror. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of this blind let's play of Earthbound. And when I join you again, we will take on what I guess is Master Belch and see if we can get whatever it is that he's hiding because yeah if he's enslaving the Mr. Saturn shrunken heads then we obviously have to do what we can to free them. So until next time everyone this is Matthew at Novora Autism saying take care and I'll see you soon.